Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to this week's food challenge. Today I partnered up with the National Peanut Board, sponsor of this video, to unofficially attempt, unofficially attempt, the one minute peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating world record. Uh, the current world record stands at a pretty impressive six peanut butter and jelly sandwiches eaten in just one minute. And this was set by the former number two ranked competitive eater in the world, Pat Deep Dish Bertoletti. And uh, there are a ton of rules. Uh, each sandwich must have the peanut butter and jelly bread. applied. Must be covered with sandwich. 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 Must but before we begin the challenge, a big thanks to the National Peanut Board for sponsoring this video. Uh, basically, they wanted me to do a food challenge with one of my favorite peanut butter foods. And of course, that's difficult. Peanut butter goes well on so many different things. I mean, you can do peanut butter sandwiches, peanut butter crackers, peanut butter cookies. If you're feeling healthy, you can dip carrots, you can log celery. Personally though, I think the unsung hero of the peanut butter world is the Fluffinator. I actually think it's actually called the Fluffer Nutter sandwich. Fluffer Nutter, not the Fluffinator, but I've always called it the Fluffinator. It's the Terminator of the peanut butter sandwich world. The recipe, two slices of white bread, untoasted, keep the crusts, you gotta go heavy on the fill-in. So that's two heaping scoops of peanut butter, two big dollops of marshmallow spread, spread them, boom, the Matt Stoney PBM. But of course, nothing trumps the OG lunchbox king, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And that's why we're doing that for today's challenge. So yeah, huge thanks to the National Peanut Butter for helping make this video possible and for spreading the peanut butter love. Uh, if you want to, you can follow them on Twitter and Instagram at Peanuts Here. Links for their webpage and social media will be in the description box below. Time to make some peanut butter and jellies. Oh, a whole lot of white bread. Alrighty, two slices of bread. All right, so first off, we're gonna lay on the peanut butter. I went with a uh, smooth, I personally prefer chunky, but smooth is easier to get down. It goes down smooth. All right, and then of course, grape jelly. Grape jelly, boom, boom. And boom. All right, well, uh, we ran out of jelly. It's all right though. It's all right. We were able to make nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine peanut butter and jellies, which is enough for one attempt. But I guess it's do or die today. We're gonna get one attempt at one minute. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and. This is why I wanted two more runs. Ah! All right, so the question is, do I go out to the store, buy more jelly, come back, make more sandwiches, and attempt this again? All right, let's do it. 
Alright, day two everybody. I didn't have enough time to film last night. Uh, the sun was going down and everything. But, we're back at it this morning. We're gonna get this record. Alright, so first off, I watched the videos last night. I uh, saw some flaws. I think I, I, I have a game plan for today, which is good. First off one, I'm gonna make the sandwiches dead last. I'm gonna pour my water, do all my talking, make the sandwiches, and then eat so then the bread is as fresh as possible. And, uh, and then I'm just gonna do one sandwich at a time. I think that double sandwich thing actually messed me up. So, that's the plan. Boom. All right, come on, come on. All right, here we go. Same deal, same deal. Made eight sandwiches, all with peanut butter and jelly, all the way through the edges. Number to beat is six. 20 seconds out, starting at the one, going for one minute. All right, here we go. Five, three, two, one, and go. Well, we're prepared for this. We bought enough jelly and bread for one more attempt. A third attempt. So... And boom. You know what, I skipped breakfast, so a couple peanut butter jelly sandwiches in me. Getting that energy going. A little bit of calories, I needed that. All right, here we go, here we go. All right guys, last attempt, all or nothing on these sandwiches. So the game plan is to fold them this time, to try out folding. A lot of food are eat, that are eaten folded. Um, it reminds me of like the, the Krispy Kreme donut video I did way back. I destroyed those donuts because I folded them. So, let's hope that works right now. Uh, countdown is starting. Boom. Starting at the one minute mark. Oh man. You got this. You got this. You've been practicing for this since you were like two years old. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Five, three, two, one, and go. <clears throat> You did it. I guess. I guess I did it. Wasn't pretty, that's for sure. I don't like how much I gagged. It's a shame because of my. You went fast. Yeah, I mean, I really, I really did not win. <laughs> not eat six sandwiches again. <laughs> that was intense. You're telling me. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Oh my! I was honestly worried um, last night as I was going. I was worried that this video was actually not going to turn out. Last night, I was thinking about it, 
the fact that I tied Bertoletti's record. And Bertoletti, like I said at the beginning of the video, he is legitimately the former, he is or was the number two ranked competitor in the world. I competed against him many times. He kicked my ass, I kicked his ass. I think he's also the 10 minute peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating world record actually. So I think he's actually the two-time, he's the undisputed peanut butter and jelly sandwich eater of the world. The, uh, the record was six peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in one minute. The record still is six peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in one minute because, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, this was just for fun. There were lots of rules involved, um, many of which um, I chose not to follow today because there was a lot of them that I just couldn't follow. So uh, this wasn't going to be legitimate no matter what. But for the sake of my resume, that is seven peanut butter and jelly sandwiches eaten in one minute. Uh, again, big thanks to the National Peanut Board for sponsoring this video. Uh, what would the world be like without peanut butter? I don't know, and I don't want to live in that world. I mean, honestly, think about it. Like, what would the world be without peanut butter? Uh, real quick, I'm going to shout out a couple of fellow competitive eaters slash YouTubers to attempt this challenge. Uh, Zermatt Neo, Juan the Hungry San Niave, and Badlands Booker. I want to see if you can eat seven peanut butter sandwiches in a minute. If they do follow up with this challenge, I will leave their links in the description box below. Also, I'll just put their channels down below so you can check them out. And just as a little disclaimer, if you're not a competitive eater or know what you're doing, please don't attempt this challenge. I've said for years, doing quick, like one minute challenges like this are the most risky if you don't know what you're doing. So please don't try this at home. But with that said, awesome challenge, delicious challenge, seven peanut butter and jelly sandwiches eaten in only 60 seconds. Oh. oh. Is that a teaser? Is that a teaser? Is this a Marvel movie where I put it at the end of the video? Where it's like, oh my god, is that what's gonna happen next? Oh my god, the 60th, what? <laughs> That's funny. We should honestly bring back the 60 second series.